a little bit more on alignment, just some of the basic measurements of alignment. We have a measurement called caster, which is one of the big three, the caster, camber, and toe. And caster basically can be illustrated with a caster like the bottom of your toolbox. So if this is the front of the vehicle to the right here, and the caster is allowing the tire from the angle from where it starts to where it pivots on axle is swept back, that's a negative caster. And that's good for having the steering wheel return to zero center, which it might not want to do, remember, if we don't have a steering angle sensor agreeing with reality. But that's what's going to help there. If you have a manual uh, steering vehicle, an older vehicle without power steering, sometimes they actually had a positive caster. But pretty much anything today has electric power steering, either hydraulic or, or electric at this point, and they're a negative caster. So the amount of negative caster we see right there is, is shown in those left and front uh, specifications, along with camber and toe. So that's caster. Now let's take a look at if it doesn't return to center. That's a common symptom caused by either steering component too tight, binding. Somebody didn't uh, use the torque wrench. If you want to visit the Delphi YouTube page and look at some of these components, these tie rods and control arms and pitman arms and things like that being replaced. There's a lot of how-to videos on the Delphi YouTube page. Check it out, including mentions about making sure that you've calibrated your torque wrench recently. But if you didn't torque this down, you just burped it down with your impact wrench. You might have this so tight that it has a hard time returning to zero after you make a corner. The wheel doesn't come back to center. The other thing that can cause that is not having the proper caster.